welcome back to Cracking Packs here and today we have ourselves a little bit of that Korean flavor because we are going to be opening up an Eevee Heroes Korean booster box. So look, I've got some Japanese booster boxes. I'm not going to crack them open. That's purely for all the investment side of things. However, you can still pull the same cards, but in Korean out of this box here for a much cheaper price. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going a bit budjo, but it doesn't matter because these cards are still in good condition. Um, they look a lot more like the English cards. They have the English background, um, or the back of the card is has, has the English um, uh, artwork pattern. Um, but look, you know, the cards are still, you know, really good quality. Um, it's just that they are cheaper, um, probably because they're not as popular, um, but that doesn't matter. It actually, it works out pretty well for me because it means I get to open up some Eevee Heroes cards at a very affordable price. So let's not waste any time. All right, let's get into it. You. Okay, so something that I've noticed um, differently about this booster box from Korea, as opposed to the other ones, is that... Um, the other booster boxes that I've received in the past, it's just had like a little bit of sticky tape that is holding the top of the box down. This has actually got uh, a nice casing of plastic all around it, which I like. Uh, makes me feel like as if my box is, it's just harder to tamper with. You'd have to crack this open and then reseal it, which look, it's not impossible. We've seen, you know, first edition uh, English booster boxes be resealed and so forth. And like, you know, I get that, but um, no, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel a, you know, a little bit more secure about this product here. So that's good. So that's one thing that I've noticed um, with this box, uh, as opposed to all the other Korean booster boxes that I have opened in the past. So anyway, I now have to actually use a little bit more effort to get inside the box. I guess that is one of the downfalls. I'll just cut this off camera. There we go. Make a little incision there. Peel the plastic away. So, in this booster box, I think we have 30 packs, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if it says in here. Look, last time I checked, I can't read Korean. So, let's. I think there is 30 packs here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, still a booster box, nonetheless. Um, so, anyway, we've got... Don't know who that is. This is going to be a really good test uh, to make sure... Um, I know the, the names of the Pokemon. Um, there are a lot of Pokemon that have been introduced into the the um, into the game, or I don't know what you'd call it. But um, yeah, I go since I was a kid. There's been a lot of Pokemon that have been released, and I just yeah, I just don't know them all. So anyway, this will be a good test to see how many I do actually know. So let's crack this open, slide these packs out of here. Now I'm going to save you guys the pain of me counting these. I'm just going to assume there is 30 here. All right, so this set is one I've been dying to open. Absolutely dying. But like I said, I've really just been buying the Japanese boxes to invest in because it's going to be one of those sets that if you're not going to invest in one of those boxes, you are a silly man if investing is one of your interests. Okay, so which are the cards that I want to pull from here? Well... Probably the card that I want to pull out of here most would be the Sylveon Alternate Art, which you can see here. And the next card is the Umbreon Alternate Art. Those two cards, if I can pull at least just one of them, I will be over the moon. But um, when it, look, I think with the Korean boxes, you know, like we're not guaranteed an alt art. We saw that with the Japanese as well. Um, but look, you know, if I can get myself a full, a full art or um, like, you know, not, not, not necessarily a VMAX, um, a full art V or an alt art. Yeah, I'll be super stoked with that. Anyway, I'm going to pull out my scissors from the 1980s. And I'm going to cut, how many packs here? Six packs. Just so I don't have to continually open up each pack. And that can be, that can be quite excruciating having to watch me do that. All right, there we go. All right. Try my best not to cut the cards. All right, so in each pack you get five cards, and the good thing about these packs is that you don't have to do the card trick because the rare is always at the back of the pack. So anyway, 
Let's see how many Pokemon I really do know. <laughs> uh, we're off to a great start because I don't really know this guy at all. Um, anyway. Oh. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing. I uh, don't know that guy. Uh, oh, yeah, I know that one. EV. All right, so we've got an EV. And then we have some Sun Trainer card. I don't know what the hell that is. And then for the rare, we have an Entei Holo card. So I guess we've got a hit on the first pack. So that's a really good start. Um, I just have to put that back there. I should have forgot my stands. I was going to get my stands, actually. Hang on one second. All right, and I'm back. So we've got a stand here, and I'll put Ente up here. In actual fact, I forgot my card sleeves. I'll be back in a sec. Yoink, and I'm back with a card sleeve. There we go. We'll sleeve that up there. There we go. So Ente for the first hit of this opening. Good start. All right, let's go. Next pack, let's see what we get. All right, we have an Azamaril. Then we have Eevee again. And we've got Mawal. Um, some weird looking flask. And then we have, oh, what is that? Um, don't know. <laughs> and then we have one of these like promo cards that they include in every single pack. All right, next one, let's into this one. I haven't come across an ultra rare yet, but we're only three packs in, so it's not like as if we can ask for too much. All right. Okay, Slugma. No, it's Magma. <laughs> That's uh, Slugma there in the top left corner. Then we got uh, Tim uh, Temple or Temple or something like that. I don't know. Then we got Jupiter, Kangaskhan. And there we go, we have an Umbreon V. Beautiful. One of my favorite evolutions. And to pull the Umbreon in the V, not bad at all. Quite happy with that. All right, so I'll get a sleeve and slot this bad boy in here. Such a beautiful card. Love the, I love the purple against the black and really makes that yellow pop. That's really nice. So I'll just go place that bad boy up there on the stand. And let's get into the, I think it's the fourth pack. Not sure, doesn't matter. Still plenty of packs to open. All right. I didn't really cut these that well. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, we got uh, that uh, tadpole looking dude. Uh, Chupider, Panda Boy. <laughs> Um, God, I forgot who that is. I'm not sure. And then we have, and that was the rare at the back or the uncommon. Okay, next pack. Oh, man, I really did cut these poorly. I cut them above the crimp line. All right. Here we go. Um, no idea who that is. I wonder if that's a new Pokemon or something. That's like Weedle's brother. Then we've got Sandy Ghast, or is it like, I don't know, it's a, yeah, whatever that is, I would have kicked it over as a kid. Um, and then we have, yeah, something or rather hollow. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there we have our third hit. I'll flash that go up there. Oops, got to sleeve that. Cool. Right, let's go. All right, next pack. What have we got? We got Magma again. No, it's Mag Cargo. Far out. Um, some scary looking dude. Sandy Castle, whatever. I think it actually might be called Sandy Castle. I'm not sure. Um, well, I've never seen that before. And, oh, m Melodic? No, surely not. I don't know. Okay, so we've got six more packs to cut open. Please don't cut the cards. Yes, sweet. We're all good. All right. Come on, Umbreon. Come on, Umbreon, old art. Let's go. 
And we got a Meryl. I'm pretty sure that's Meryl. Oh, is that like, it's not, oh, I was gonna say Timber, but no, no way. Um, that is Indeedy, I'm pretty sure. Persian, we all know that. And we've got another Umbreon V. Wow, the Umbreons are coming thick and fast. We've doubled up on the Umbreon and I'm doubling up so much for Pokemon lately. It's ridiculous. I opened up a, a Champion's Path collection, or a Hatterene collection box, and I pulled three um, Cursed Solars in a row. Couldn't believe it. The same card, three in a row. And then one of my um, one of my videos, I pulled two Moltres Vs in a row. So, and we've done it again, two Umbreon Vs in a row. Hopefully, that is strong signs that we might get the Umbreon Alt Art. I'll tell you what, if I get that, I will go off my rocket. Okay, so I think this guy's called Phoebus. Then we've got Gossy Fleur. I don't know, some big old panda looking dude. Electrode. And some starfish looking trainer car, which I have no idea what that actually is. All right, here we go. Next pack. It's so much easier when you cut the packs. You can just slide the cards on uh, out and just get on with it. Uh, then we've got Jupiter. Um, oh, I have no idea who that is. Is that Electrode or Voltorb? I've got a funny thing that's Voltorb. It looks the same as Electrode. Um, mud Chomp or something or other. I don't know. And then we've got another Entei Hollow. This uh -huh. is getting really weird. I'll get the double again. Okay. I'm just going to put that to the side. That's we've, we've already got a... Okay, this is really odd. Call me Mr. Doubles. Far out. Okay. Oops. Okay, here we go. Indeedy. Um, oh, what's his name? Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, Turnple? Mm, I don't, I'm not sure if that is melodic. I'm not sure. And then we've got some flask. Okay. Anyway. All right. So it's going to be really weird if I pull another Umbreon V out of here. It'll actually kind of get a little bit annoying because I haven't opened up any of these cards and I don't have any EV Heroes cards in my collection. So it would be nice just to get a few more cards to add to the collection. And then we got a... Um, it's not Grimmsnarl. Um, oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Here we go. So this will be the 12th pack into the opening and I'm so bad at cutting these packs because I don't cut them properly. Oh my God, I'm making a career out of this. Oh, okay, no worries. You want me to chop you? I will chop you. Oh, okay, what the, oh, come on. Stop being a bitch. Twenty years later, okay, Slugma, something or other, something or other, and Pinsa. Okay. Sorry, guys, I had a phone call that I had to take, so I had to pause that video. This video is a little bit disjointed. I had um, some people come over before and had to stop the video, and then had a phone call, had to take, had to stop the video again. So hopefully, we can get through the rest of this opening without any interruptions. Okay, take three, and we're gonna cut three packs. Let's go. All right, here we go. No more Umbreon Vs, I've now had my full dose of that. No more Entos. All right, we got Big Panda Dude. We got some ugly looking eel. Um, is that Jupiter? I don't know, this is weird. It's getting really weird, it's just, a spider with a big boogie hanging out of its nose, and that's why it's a big bubble. Then we've got Electrode, um, and then some woman. Okay, so some trainer woman. I have no idea who that is. 
because I can't read Korean. All right, another pack. Another pack closer to hopefully what is going to be the Umbreon or the Sylveon alternate art. We might not even get one at all, and that's cool because they are rare for a reason. And there we've got Umbreon VMAX. You nice. As of, I love that card. That's really nice. So the flavor of this box most certainly is Umbreon. Umbreon is, it's got a prominent present presence right here because we've just pulled two Umbreon Vs and now we've got the Umbreon VMAX. Can we go one better and get ourselves the Umbreon Alt Art? Definitely an Umbreon box so far. I have no problem with that whatsoever because it is, if not my favorite, it was definitely my second favorite Eevee evolution. All right, here we go. I think I might have seen a little bit of shine back there. So fingers crossed, we have ourselves an old art. Come on, here we go. We've got a Mawile. Okay, Kangaskhan and <laughs> the Umbreon V. All right, so that probably cancels out any chance of getting the alternate art, but you never know. You never know. I don't know if the Korean boxes work the same as the Japanese, but bang, we have definitely gone all out on the Umbreons for this opening. That is awesome. Umbreon Full Art V. Nice. I like that. That's sick. All right, so we'll get Entei down, and we're going to show off our three variations of Umbreon and I think all there is to go after this is the alt art. Can we do it? If it's anything like the Japanese boxes, well, the odds are now against us because we've pulled um, what they consider to be the big hit for the box. So let's hope the Koreans are a little bit more generous than that. And they give us the alt art Umbreon. We've still got plenty of packs to open. So let's keep cracking away. And pray that we can go for the Alt Art Umbreon. Even the Sylveon. I'd love a Sylveon. Um, what's his name? It's not... Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Bang. <laughs> Sweet. Sylveon VMAX. Just, I was just talking about it. And boom. There we go. That is awesome. Yes. Ticking off the cards that I wanted from this set. Well, not the two cards that I especially want, but at least we're hitting the two Evolution variations that I wanted, being the Umbreon and the Sylveon. That is sick. All right. Um, I'm going to have to try and put up another stand because all, these, all four of these cards are worth showing off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this box here. Here we go, and Sylveon can slot in on the right hand side there. Wow, this box is awesome. Man, I might be, I'm definitely getting another one of these, I reckon, definitely. Especially when they're this cheap as well. They're good quality cards, they look fantastic, so to me, it's a no-brainer. Okay, so there we have a bit of a dud pack there, but how can we complain when we have the quality of cards that we have in the background. All right, Pikachu. It's the first time we've come across Pikachu. Um, they've got Azamaril. Um, don't know who that little puppy dog is. Uh, we've got the Ugly Eel again. And then we have that same hollow. I'm pretty sure we already have this hollow. Yeah, we do. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just put that to the side. This definitely doesn't deserve to be up amongst the caliber of cards that we have in front of us. But I will do a recap at the end of this video and go over what we pulled. So we've got uh, Manta Ray Boy, then we've got Meowth. Oh, no idea who that is. No, no idea who that is either. And then we have a Love Heart trainer card. Okay, something tells me that we're gonna go for a bit of a dry patch before we hit anything good again. Hopefully there are a couple more surprises left in this booster box. Now, all we can do is keep cracking, keep cracking away. Hopefully, we hit the gold. 
All right, so we've got some random ass Pokemon, we've got some weird looking ball, and then we've got the Raichu Hollow. Okay, not bad, not too bad. I will sleeve that up. All right, on to the next pack. Okay. Oh, I've come across that thing again where it gets caught in that plastic. All right, here we go. All right, uh, big old panda dude with a cape, um, ugly eel. A uh, spider with a fucking big snot coming out of its nose. Uh, then we've got Persian. And then we have... Um, I have no idea. <laughs> All right. There have been way too many Pokemon released since I was into it as a kid. Uh, big old scary dude. Then we've got, um, I don't know, tadpole dude. Uh, Meowth. Energy, and then we have a Glaceon V. Nice. Man, I love Eevee Heroes. This is a, no wonder it was so popular in Japan. Like, it's little wonder, and it's gonna be a massive set uh, when it hits the shores of Australia. I know some YouTubers, some Australian YouTubers are already opening Evolving Skies, but um, I've just been told that my Evolving Skies has just arrived. So, super keen to get stuck in if this um, Eevee Heroes is anything to go by. All right, cool. So, where do I put this guy? I have to put him. Oh, man. You know what? I think we've seen enough of Umbreon V. And we'll have to put Glaceon V there instead. All right. Another pack. Here we go. Azamaroth, starting things off. Then we've got Eevee. Mawal. Some star-looking dude. And then we've got, I don't know, some Sandcastle. <laughs> Seriously? Some weird Pokemon out there, that's for sure. All right, so we have ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven packs to go. Will we hit an alternate art? I've got a funny feeling like that it is like the Japanese boxes. Um, so I've got a feeling that we won't, but never say never as they say. There have been plenty of error boxes in the past. So... Let's see if we can get ourselves super lucky and go one better with the alt art. All right. Uh, Indeedy. I'm pretty sure that's Indeedy. Rotom. Gossifleur. Pinsir. And a rare Pokemon with a big red mullet. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. All right. Okay, another pack. You got Turnpool? I think it's Turnpool. Uh, Jupiter, Panda Boy, Electrode, and then that trainer, that trainer girl. All right. Phoebus, Panda Boy, Eevee, Star Dude, and then we have a Eldegoss, an Eldegoss Hollow. Okay, not a bad card. All right, I'll put that to the side, and we go into our fourth last uh, fourth last pack. We've got Mag Cargo, uh, Scary Dude, um, Sandcastle Junior, and then we've got Flask, and yeah, some weird, weird emo goth looking guy. Okay, so we onto onto the last. Three packs. This has been a lot of fun. I've, I've really enjoyed this set. This is this is pretty cool. All right. Final three packs. Here we go. Mag Cargo, Turnpool, Jupiter, Kangaskhan. Can I name every card in a pack? Here we go, Jolteon V. You nice, nice card. I like that. All right, so I got a feeling that's all the evolutions that we're going to pull, but we've got two more packs to change that. So we've got Sylveon, Umbreon, Glaceon, and Jolteon. I reckon my third favourite would have to be. Um, Probably Leafeon. All right, here we go. We got some, I don't know, Weedle with a, I don't know, with like a, a suit made out of leaves. Then we've got Meryl. 
um, some painter, something or other, and then something or other. Okay, cool. Last pack, here we go, last pack, magic. Can we do it? Can we get the old heart? Fingers crossed, let's go. Um, something or other, Weeder with a leaf suit, Sandcastle Jr. and this guy for the third time. Okay guys, time to wrap it up and see how we fared from this EV Heroes booster box. Okay, so during that time I didn't learn, bother to learn <laughs> to learn the names of these, so we'll just run with it, hey? Um, yeah, this guy. We pulled this guy three times in the regular hollow form. Then we pulled Entei hollow, which we did twice. Then we pulled Aldegoss hollow, followed up with a red mullet man, dog, creature, singing, majig, hollow. And then we pulled a Raichu hollow. Now moving up into the ultra rare slot. And we have pulled ourselves the Umbreon hollow, uh, sorry, the Umbreon V card, not once, but twice. Then we pulled the Jolteon V card, followed up with the Glaceon V. Now we're moving into the V Max territory and we have ourselves the Umbreon VMAX, followed up with the Sylveon VMAX, two of the VMAXs that I wanted to pull, as these are my two favourite evolutions, and then followed up with the hit off the opening, the Umbreon Full Art V. So, no old art in this video, but I'm definitely going to get a few more boxes of these and crack into them, and hopefully, just hopefully, we can get that big hit being the Umbreon um, alt art or the Sylveon alt art. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to like the video. Also smash the subscribe button. And um, yeah, hopefully um, get a few more boxes of these and crack into them. And um, yeah, hopefully get that alt art. Anyway, guys, for now, thanks for watching and catch you later. You.